Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo at SoCal Regionals. We got I'm, a... Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I was going to say, we got a really hype tournament today. Yeah. Great top eight. Dude, we got old school players versus new school players. Um, I'm Muffin Man, by the way. I'm Atari. And we're, uh, we're going to be your hosts for this, for the winner side of things. Um, first up, we're going to have Ultra Combo versus the one and only Afro Legends. Um, a legend, actually, in STE. He was the best player for who, countless amount of years. Yeah. And now he's come back to uh, be on the big stage again. Yeah, this is what? This is the first big tournament that he's played in since, what, 2014? Yeah, and that was a tournament he won. He won EVO that yeah. year. Yeah, so yeah, tournament of legends. He's, so. uh, he's pretty ridiculous. As you can see, he keeps it old school by playing on the floor. That's a uh, classic. Uh, yeah. He's um he's a Balrog DJ player. He uh he plays either one depending on the matchup, and um he's pretty strong at both. And Ultra Combo is a uh, old Sagat uh, main uh, character specialist, which is actually commonplace in ST. So you're gonna see a lot of like uncommon things from him, such as punishing things you wouldn't expect. There's a lot to it, and it's it's pretty interesting. And he's also dominated the American scene in Afro's absence. Yeah, very much so, very much so. So this is so. Here's a question right off the bat: Do you think uh, Afro's gonna go with Boxer, or is he gonna go with DJ? I think he'll go with Boxer yeah. because uh, who can turn down the free full screen fireball punish, right? Yes, yes, indeed, yeah. yes, indeed. So, so let's we'll see. see. He's, he's dancing around. He's not gonna go Fei Long. Just oh, yep. what? He goes DJ. Okay. So this, this is a classic matchup. Um, DJ actually is probably around seven three, old Sagat. But this is Afro Legends we're talking about, so let's call it 5-5 five, five for now. Yeah, exactly. So DJ's trying to keep distance. Basically, he wants to move into a position where he can uh, slow down the fireball game and start punishing jump wins. And you'll see him do up kicks over fireballs, meet him a little bit, but he can't afford to give up charge a lot. So you'll see him down back, fireball, slide in, everything to keep charge while moving forward. Yeah, and he does because of that slide. That's his down roundhouse. He does have that ability to move forward and maintain charge, which is so important. Yes, that's one of DJ's biggest strengths. And you can see trading with the fireball actually is in DJ's favor because he wants to keep that range where he can continually punt it. And you see him whiffing that low strong as well. Nice uh, Afro Legend takes the first round, but that low strong has a phenomenally good hitbox. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's almost impossible to whiff punish. So you could basically preemptively stop um, Sadat's fireballs at a distance by doing that strong. Oh, he went for the jump in. That could have been punished, but Ultra Combo didn't recognize it. Ultra Combo, his game plan here is to basically put DJ at mid-range and punish his attempts to get around the fireball game. But at this range, DJ has quite a bit of an advantage. So once he pushes them out and you kind of avoid the patterns that get punished like that, he can do something. But wow, Ooh, Afro Legends making it look easy. Jeez. Yeah, wow, and that is that matchup is absolutely in Ogat's favor. Yeah. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a tough one. These guys were playing uh, some casuals earlier. Yeah. So we'll see maybe uh, maybe some things were learned from yeah. those casuals, and we'll see if uh, Ultra Combo busts it out. And keep in mind that uh, even though Ultra Combo is struggling a bit, there aren't very many DJ players out there. America is actually yeah. a small DJ community, so this is probably a matchup he hasn't played in a long time since maybe the last time he played Afro. Yeah, fair enough. Well, you're a DJ player. Yeah, but I haven't played Ultra Combo in years. Yeah, fair enough. And I'm nowhere near Afro's level. So we've seen Afro has has been able to get some jump-ins on, uh, on Ogat, which can be very, very risky. His, his tiger shot recovery is so fast that you end up beating a tiger uppercut. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times you'll see stuff like this where each attempt to get around the fireball or punish it results in either getting Ooh. swept. Oh, wow, he just went in. Yeah, that jump, I was surprised he didn't get a, uh, an uppercut the first time around, but he got one the second time. Yeah, well, you see, when you see stuff like that, it's because when there's... In this game, there's such high damage, people will force scrambles so they can just get that damage out by surprising the opponent. And that's not uncommon. So what looks like just kind of crazy movement is actually an attempt to basically trade damage in your favor. He's got the corner again, and it's, it's hard to come back from this situation. Yeah, but now, exactly, he, now he's reset. He's reset back to full screen. Yeah. Ultra Combo working his way out of the corner, but he can't take much more damage. Yeah, and he has to grind out the win at that point can't just like punch it away and get all the damage unless Afro messes up. So right there, there's that down strong again, that hitbox. Yep. So strong. Yep. Part of the fun. <laughs> um, yeah, just so you know, we use Jab Strong and Fierce and Short Forward and Roundhouse for the Magic series, as they used to call it. Uh, 
He's pushing his way in. Notice that when Afro's pressing buttons, even outside of range, um, Sagat can't walk back because of proximity guard, which actually works almost full screen in this game. So you have to be very careful trying to gain space when you know somebody can just jab it and keep you from moving. It's good sweep. So he's got to play safe here because Afro Legends can maintain the back charge while doing up kicks, which means he can punish a fireball with super. Oh, but wow. he gets to throw anyway, so Check it doesn't matter. Up. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty rough right now, but I think this is this is the type of match where Ultra Combo just kind of has to remember things. It's just hard to be introduced to it by the best DJ. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's like, that is true. Oh, I haven't played DJ in a while. Let me warm up against, you know, the best DJ in the world. <laughs> Oh wow, he tried to go over the low tiger shot with the light kick drag kick, which is possible, but he missed time. Oh no. Oh. One more hit and he's dizzy, he's gotta be careful. Yeah, that's oh, that's it. Oh, oh no, no, he messed Drop up it. the combo. Oh, but he got the charge. Yeah, Afro's looking pretty on point. Yeah, I don't think is. Ultra Combo was prepared for a DJ fight. Yeah, and just remember this is this matchup is definitely in Ogat's favor. Yeah. He might have expected Balrog just because he knows that they know the matchup. Wow, yeah. Great punish. I mean, it's a, in that sense, it is a wise choice to go with DJ. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, Makes the like, zone in here. Yeah, Ultra Combo's getting his way on this one. Yeah, he's got the space that he wants. As long as he maintains that space, he can punish all of DJ's attempts. So Afro kind of has to trick him. And Sniper he, shot right there on the high tiger. Exactly, yeah. All right, let's see if uh, Ultra Combo can get on the board here. This yeah. is match point Afro Legends. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking okay. It's not looking too bad. I mean, he has a chance no matter what, but that's a dangerous position right now. Oh, he got the jump in. Wow. Ooh. Low short. <laughs> Who knew? All right. Wow. Yeah, apparently <laughs> that works. So he's got to be very careful when Afro has down charge because super is dangerous in this sense. Oh, he got a good jump in, but he got punished again. You can't fireball out of the corner against DJ, so you have to really figure out a way to stop the buttons. And then Ultra, and Ultra Combo goes down to Afro yeah. Legends. And so, that's, yeah. That's rough for a loser's bracket because Ultra Combo's a beast. Yeah, so. absolutely. So, yeah, Ultra Combo's still alive. Yep. Um, next, we have the other winner side matchup, which is going to be. El Trouble versus Karobi. El Trouble versus wow. Karobi. Wow. SoCal, San Diego versus Los Oh, no, Angeles. I'm sorry. El Trouble versus Tomo. Oh, Tomo. Karobi's oh, yeah. still in, but he's on loser's that's side. That's right. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Oh, I, I hate to divert from commentary, but look who just showed up. See that guy in the black shirt there? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, God. yeah. <laughs> OG, uh, OG SoCal. Yeah, everybody's here. It's so crazy. Yeah, no, amazing. It's quite a lineup. This was a really good job by uh, everyone involved putting this together. And, exactly. You know, thanks. I, I'd definitely say thanks to SCR for having ST up on the big stage. Yeah, man. Thanks to Vai. Thanks to all the SCR staff. Thanks to Jimmy, Shinjin. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. They've supported us since the beginning, and this is the type of stuff they do for small communities. And by the way, beautiful setup here. I don't know if we'll at some point be able to get a camera shot of what they're running, but they're running the Tournament of Legends. Uh, they're called the Kuro Sticks, yep. which are uh, some custom-made uh, sticks that sit on the floor with weights, and they're running PVM, so uh, the highest quality possible video display. Yeah, shout out to Arcadium, uh, Carl, for putting that together for us, and Karelby for bringing it up from San Diego so yeah. to play on it. Yeah, which is crazy. And he gets to play top eight on it, so yeah. that's pretty awesome. So um, El Trouble, basically our local hero. He's the uh, the guile today. He's going to be playing Dalsim, but he's our all-American hero versus Tomo, who recently migrated from Japan to the USA. Um, it's a, it's funny because we can't really mention him without people thinking it's old school Tomo. Right, but it's different. So Tomo Aki. Yeah, exactly. Sure. So yeah. Um, in Japan, he goes by Tomo, and here we call him Tomo Aki just for um, clarity, but he's basically a Japan, a Tokyo Ryu, Ryu player. He's really strong. He's uh, he's in the upper echelons over there, and um, yeah, they met actually when uh, they took the trip to Japan for one of the largest SD tournaments ever, and um, yeah, he came back and he's like, I want to play the American crew. He goes to Wednesday Night Fights, and now he's here. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Yeah. Really great, and uh, you know what? He's certainly, he's been finishing high Wednesday night fights, oh, yeah. so he's very much in the running. Yeah, he actually has been winning Wednesday night fights, except for when Afro Legends showed up, ah, which yeah. is pretty incredible for a guy yeah. who came out of a how many year as retirement. Yeah, play. it is. It absolutely is. So, right. yeah, so here we go. Sim versus Ryu. This yep. match is in Sim's favor, right. uh, but not hugely, I don't think. Yeah, so Ryu wants to build meter in this match because he can't, he can play the fireball game, but he doesn't get much out of it. He, he's either building meter for super or he's knocking down and doing hit throw mix-ups. And a hit throw mix-up will usually lead into another hit throw mix-up. So he has that going for him, but 
Dalsim has throw range, Dalsim has great zoning, a great super. It's a, it's a struggle. So we'll see how Tomo does. And now Trouble not wasting any time, showing Tomo that he can't get away with certain things. Shutting down options. Oh, oh nice wow, there. what a freaking punish, wow. wow. Alright, that's one way to say you can't stand roundhouse. Yep. <laughs> wow. And uh, so we got Zim on first round. You uh, get, you just go straight in, okay. He uh, tried to punish a counter throw attempt there, and he uh, blocked it and got punished for it. Sim just looking for it, looking for anything to react to. And he got a fireball on that one, he's got more. Notice that Sim is being really careful about just throwing out limbs, because when you're doing those throwing out of limbs, you can eat a dragon punch very easily. Exactly. And now that he has meter, he has the opportunity to advance a little bit. He doesn't have to worry too much about reuse meter. And wow, beautiful setups. And then, oh. So he's got super. Sim's got to be careful about throwing fireballs yeah, too close. He's playing it slow, just looking for the first opportunity he can get. And yeah, yeah. Now trouble playing smart, just reacting, not worrying about putting stuff out there. And there you go. Clean finish. So 1-0 El Trouble. It's looking good for America. <laughs> well, for America now. versus America now, I yeah, guess. Yeah, America versus America now. Oh, look at El Trouble with the Guile shirt, too. Yeah, I know. He's a he's a hypocrite. He's wearing a Guile shirt, but playing Dawson. Yeah, have to, it, yeah, do you see how he shut me down in that? Yeah, time? right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, Sim players should not be wearing the Guile shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, he's playing great. He's, he's been consistent. He's been one of the most consistent players of all time so far for SD. And uh, it's really good to see him on the main stage here. Wow. So we have Ryu taking it slow. This is not going to be a, like a one-hit kill type of match. Yeah. Tomo has to work his way in, and Dalsim has to basically methodically keep him out. Oh, great low forward to stop the long limbs. Oh, oh nice. wow, what a counter. So he goes for the jump in. Um, he can either throw or low forward fireball for a knockdown. He throws him, wow, he takes it, he just puts him back in mid-range. Oh, what a punish. Oh my goodness. So, in this game, throws are forward and medium punch or fierce punch or medium kick or roundhouse. And um, if you don't get a throw, you'll get a uh, normal. So, right there, you saw a forward fierce come out from Reed, which could have been a throw or could have been a forward fierce to punish the counter throw. So, good, strong gameplay from Tomo, basically. Nice trade in Tomo's favor. Now, one other point that range right there, because the tattoo goes over the yoga fire, Gene also has to be careful about tossing the open. Oh wow, great round, great around house Tatsu. No punish on the super. It's actually really hard to punish that super as well, so Tomo has to do so carefully. Yeah, Eugene faking uh, drills to try and get Tomo to throw something out. He's, he's getting into the perfect range to react to fireballs. He does not want to get hit by super right now. Oh, a couple nice reaction and drills super there. for the win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Eugene, he knows the Ryu matchup. You can tell he's kind of keeping that range where I can react to this, but he can't do much. So he's playing it really smart. Tomo has to step up the speed a little bit to get around this. Oh, okay, nice counter throw. Those are instant in this game, so jumping with an early fight will usually be a good throw. We call it a sack throw. Nice hurricane kick to get out of the corner. Does an overhead. Does a little short to bait, in, bait something out. He's taking it slow. Oh, oh went for a drill there. Drill, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dalsim's not going to make a sudden comeback unless he gets a random super or a good super setup. So expect to see very slow gameplay even when Dalsim's on the ropes. Yeah, it's about whittling you down. Exactly. That's one of the reasons why Dalsim is so strong in this game because he's the only character that's capable of doing that consistently. Yeah. Round one, fight! So it's 1-1. One, one. Wow, nice fireball at the start. Tomo tried to punch a button there, but uh, got hit with the fireball. So one thing you see is Tomo walking up and blocking against fireballs. He's doing that to avoid giving, showing what he's trying to react with, essentially. So he walks up, he might, uh, he might press a button and punch it. Wow. He's got to be careful here. So Tomo's got super. Yeah. Super will even life here, and now will kill. And oh, oh, that's a that's unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's the rough life of Dalsy. He gets stunned very fast. So Eugene has to be very careful not to get caught off guard. Wow, great anti here. And great reversal by Tomo. Here's the throw hit setup. You see Dalsy whipping buttons to try and get Tomo to react so he can punish the reaction. 
Oh, nice punish. Wow, great reaction. Now he has super, so he can almost guarantee his win after a few more hits. One more hit should put him in win, in the win condition state. Wow, and that should be it. Super. Oh no, he messes up. Okay, he gets there. Yeah. yeah, Tomo uppercut it there because he thought by uh, Dalsim taking the hit, he might counter throw, and he tried to punish that. It did not work. Start off with the slow mid range again. Re walking up and down forward. Using the down forward direction to not give away his fireball pattern. Nice reaction, Hurricane King. Another overhead. Does it again. Oh, jumping. Oh, wow. Cross super. pressing buttons. Yeah. Yeah, see, Dalsim gets away with pressing buttons a lot, so you have to be very careful when there's counter moves like that available. Yes. That's one of the big things about SD is breaking your own personal patterns and actually, you know, modifying your gameplay to who you're playing. Because that type of stuff can happen when you're too predictable. Tomo is so fundamentally sound. Yes. Like, you, you can just, you can see it in how, how Eugene is approaching the matchup. Exactly. Now Eugene's playing it slow, staying out of range of the hurricane kick all because this is the punish. But gets nice the reaction. Nice, again. See this, you'll see this a lot with Dalsim, a lot of punish game. Punish game and doing things that you know they have to do a certain move to get out of. Okay. Gets saved from the stun, but still in the corner. Wow, what an uppercut. And there's the throw. Oh, oh my God. God. And there's a mix up, okay. Blocks it, stays blocking. Doesn't crack, but he gets hit by the fireball. I suspect that may have been the over fire. Yeah. No, I think he was baiting and trying to load jab, okay. but the fireball was fast. But who knows? It happened so quickly. You know? Wow. Tomo going for the overheads. Oh, nice anti air, but he gets thrown into the corner for it. To punish. Because of a uh, corner position, characters don't get pushed back when they do certain moves. So you can punish them where you otherwise could. Great catch in there. Yeah, and okay, trouble. so this is still, this is match point Tomo. Yep. So if he gets this round. He moves on. And El Trouble has to win one more. Oh, wow. He took the chance on that drill. Oh, he tried to punish the Hurricane Kick, but it was a short one. There we go. Punishes that. Sets him up to, be staying, to stay in the corner. Does max range combos in the fireball to stay safe. Oh, he tried to react, but it was a fast fireball. Makes it reversal. Don't know what that was. Be careful, Ryu's got super. Yeah, this is where the match changes a little bit. Notice he's not drilling, he's trying to get him the fireball early. Oh wow, great fireball. Oh, what? Yeah, that's hard. You can't really punish that at range. You have to know the timing perfectly. Oh wow, what a trade. Tomo needs the fireball now. But he, oh. took a, he took a chance with the medium kick. Uh oh, six seconds, five. Oh, it's... Oh, oh no! Oh, what happened? Tomo with the throw. That was a free it. kill. Yeah. No, that's unfortunate. That wow. was a free hit on the super. Wow. I, I, I can only imagine he didn't know what button to press. Yeah. All those buttons go all these different directions, right? Yeah. Like, what do you press right there? Or even the throw. Maybe he just went for the throw and it just... Wow. I that was know. that was incredible. Yeah, I wish that he had hit incredible. medium kick. I, if just for us to see him do something and it missed, just to know he tried. But just to go out like that, that sucks. Yeah. Shout outs to James Chen. Hey, shout walking out to by, James Chen. Looking great as usual. So, man, wow. That's uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah. now we move on to loser's bracket. And we'll have Mr. Igloo, the iciest of the ice, versus Miller Time, also cold. Yeah, and I think we are about to yep. switch the commentators here. Yep, so they're going to make a commentary they switch. To, yeah, they're going to make a commentary switch. But thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Great to be here. We'll have uh, Galleon, Chris Galleon of uh, Seasons Beatings fame. You better know this guy. This Blockbuster guy John. Yeah, so here you All go. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Oh, we are? What's going on, everybody? Hope you're enjoying some super turbo action. This is Blockbuster John, joined by Galleon. How are you doing today? How you doing, guys? We're doing great. We got super turbo on the main screen. We're doing awesome. Yep. And right now, we have Mr. Igloo, Igloo versus Killer Miller. Mr. Igloo has been really, really impressive. I've been out of the scene for a couple years now, and um, 
Mr. Riglu spent some time in Japan. His bison is looking very Japanese yeah, right now. Yeah, he just came back two days ago. Yeah, Vampire Savior uh, Invitational, I believe. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so the man, this is a man of many talents yes. over here, so. All right, so we got Honda versus Boxer. This is a match uh, we're not too familiar with locally because uh, we don't have a Boxer except when, because Chris has been gone for a while. But let's see how uh, Killer Miller does. Yeah, so Big Lou's got to be a little careful with his rushing, unlike a lot of the characters that uh, Boxer can just bully. Yes. Both characters so, yeah, have so a nice defensive right battle right now. Yep. Change in block damage. Ooh. Who's going to make a mistake? Oh. Now, both supers are very powerful. Definitely Boxer's more punishing. Yep. Oh. Now he's out of a bonus. Bad spot. Oh. Nice. And Killer Miller takes that first round with a clutch headbutt. Yeah, with Boxer, you definitely want to bait him into blowing that super because he yes. does so much damage. <laughs> and look at uh, Killer Miller putting up that wall with those hands. Nice. It's a good trade. She landed on her feet. Nice headbutt right That's what there. What you want to do? No, Ocho, uh -oh. okay. What's next? Good whip punch. Ooh. Everyone's gonna be careful. Yeah, and if he burns the super, I was gonna say, yeah, it's still looking that. good for Miller time. She still has some life. Yeah. Trade block damage all day right now. Right, Killer Miller. It's chilling. Spamming those jabs to catch a headbutt. Yeah, as long as Bison doesn't get a bar again, he's okay. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh. So that was a situation uh, where Tanya caught Mr. Igloo just content to jab, and she took the risk of jumping in, and it paid off. I like it. Yeah. Always risky to jump at Boxer, but... Uh, he was standing, yeah. He was not holding the down charge for headbutt, so that was actually a very smart decision. Ooh, nice hands. Oof. That was such a good trade for Tanya, too. Ooh. Yeah, she's winning these trades right now. Oh, oh and no. the stun! Oh, oh, she went for the Oicho. A nice counter grab by Mr. Igloo. It's SD, man. Oh, nice anti-air super. Play, if you don't play Super Turbo, it's really hard to understand. Like, all the stages are slightly different speeds. It's, it's yeah. actually hard to combo off a jump in. It takes really mm -hmm. precise timing. She's working nice. him. Yeah, she is. She's, she has improved greatly over yeah. the years. When Honda gets you in the corner, you are in big trouble because of his throw loops. Nice headbutt. Burn, burn that bar, yeah. burn that bar. Okay. Oh, and the hands. Ooh. Ooh. Killer Miller looking yeah, she's playing great nice. right now. Nice, nice. Glow strong catching the uh oh, man. Okay. the hands. Is this, he's figured and something out yeah, here. Yeah, he's starting to pick up the offense, not playing so defensive. There you go, oh, nice man. headbutt. So even though not an anti-air, that's why it's really tough to jump in a boxer. No, you can you can um, up Buffalo through that, can't you? Yeah. Through the super. Ooh. A little nice. risky in tournaments. Some. Oh, there we go. Is okay. that the chip? That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the last hit. Okay, so it's one one so far. Mister Eagle gets one on the board. Can Honda, Honda can't do anything in between that. Like sometimes you can dragon punch. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, in maybe in can, she, super. can she jab headbutt that? That's a good question. Or can he Honda jab? Maybe Bob knows. Yeah. Can you do anything during that? Can Honda do anything during uh, Balrog Super? You can, yeah. Mm, no, wait, Joe. Wait, Joe. All right, but Tanya's sta uh, stacking up the chip with those hands. And a good trade on that headbutt. Dang it. Nice block, man. His hands. Nice sweep. Okay, look at that chip. <laughs> Right, yeah, and then so again, Tanya's got to be really careful. Yeah, full bison could a uh, bar could kill her right She's now. She's got a great life advantage though. She wants that super burn, but not right there now. You got to watch out for that. Uh oh, chip, chip. Okay, might be yeah, over. she is in chip range for that super kill. She's just chilling. I like it. Ooh, oh, man. yeah. I don't know what's going on there. And he yeah. had options there too. He could have headbutt. He could have supered. He was holding down back, so he had that charge ready. Oof. It's so hard. I love that. This is damage in this game. We're at 80 seconds already. Look at it. Almost at the end. Nice combo from Mr. Igloo right there. And she's oh, in man. chip range. And here we go. Yes. Nice. 
Wow. And Tiny was so in control. And she he's was like, that's in how control. it that's Yeah, team. she was. But, you know, this. <laughs> she can turn it around. I know she can. Oh, She's yeah. a great player. She showed great patience in that first game. Let's see if she can bring uh, more of the same yeah. in this third game. She's been a lot of fun to watch this weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah. wonder how many games here are going to have uh, the female in the top eight. I mean, I don't I don't seem, don't see a lot of that. Uh, yeah, especially impressive. in an that's older awesome. game like Super Turbo. Yeah, it's only for old us, old men old, usually. Old men, yeah. I think uh, Tanya is one of the younger competitors here, as well as Avery. Oh man, yeah, she's gonna have to be really careful with that torpedo. And then yeah, Mr. Igloo's got the life advantage again, spamming those jabs, cats the headbutt, oh. and chip range oh. again. Ooh, got she's gotta get no. Oh, oh nice shit. butt there slam to escape. Oh man. Sometimes you just gotta get crazy with a jump in, you know, just to try to. Got to do that something was good. different. She avoided the super right there, but uh, Mr. Igloo is on match points. Oh no! Are we gonna go to the oh, mix-up? No. Okay. Nice. Chilling. New control. Yeah, gotta get a little aggressive. Look at the That's chip hard. damage on that. Yeah, she can. Oh, oh no! Wow. Oh wow! I was gonna say if she could get something going before he gets a bar. But yeah, gotta be really careful. Right now, Boxer is at an advantage from that distance right there. I think her only hope is to. I was saying her only hope is your action super, but Mr. Igloo advances. Jeez. Tanya is out. Mission Killer man. Miller is out of the tournament. Well played. Oh man, that was a good one. Next up, we have Kuropi versus Silent Scope. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. So, Silent Scope is a newer school player, two new, two new school over an old yes, man like yes. me. Beat the crap out of me with one of yeah, the worst yeah, characters yeah. in the game. Silent Scope is a Kami player, and uh, Kuropi has been playing a few characters this tournament. He's been playing old Honda. He's been, I saw him play Keith a few times. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have an interesting match. Yeah. Another really weird thing about Super Turbo is that if you play online, it's really different timing when you actually show up to a tournament. Yeah, because we're playing on CRT. Yeah, so Bob was having he was having a lot of trouble with his uh, Honda. It's like, again, Super Turbo, really precise timing. Uh, Zangief, who he doesn't play online, he was kind of like trolling around with him. All his execution mm -hmm. coming out perfect. Mm -hmm. So All right. we've got a lot of things to deal with as ST players. But matchup-wise, why wouldn't you pick Honda in this matchup? This is oh, a bad yeah, oh matchup for Kami. Uh, yeah. Honda can put up this wall. James Chen will tell you. Yeah. This will be fun, though. Yes. Silence Go has been dealing with bad matchups all day, every day yeah, of his man, Super Turbo I, life. So he's, know, got an, he's got an answer. He's there's a little self-loathing there when you play Kami in this matchup especially. Beat my Osagat though. You, this yeah, guy's awesome. you know the thing. You know, you, you get to a point when you lose so much with a low tier character that you know all the ins and out of the bad matchups. Yeah, and you know exactly. how to overcome them. It's Japan style. Yep, but uh, you know, Bob takes Bob's that one. Kurobi takes that one. He's got that old man rage going yeah. right now. It's like, kids, get off my lawn. Beating you up, Cammy. But you know, oh, nice jab that countered it. Torpedo. Silent Scope does play Miller Time a lot, so he knows uh, the ins and outs of this matchup. And one thing oh, to yeah. note is this is old Honda. So yeah. uh, he can get in freely. He doesn't have to worry about the Oicho grab. Yeah, his normals are a little bit better. Um, so Honda's normals are a little bit better. But yeah, he doesn't have that throw loop that um, new Honda has. Yeah, and also more. another thing to note is that uh, old characters take the full throw damage. They can't tech throws like the newer characters can in ST. Ooh, nice. nice. And that's something he Smart. uses a lot. Yeah, his Kami just has that perfect timing where if you do nice something. Stab. I like I like her neutral jump and her jumping strong. Right, is one of the best moves in the game, yep. priority wise. So she's got some she's got some tools. Yes. And you got to be really careful with her uh, cannon drills in this game. Um, it's really hard to make them safe. And Silence Go's an expert. Yes, he is definitely. And one one thing oh to look out goodness. for too that uh, I haven't seen him do yet is the hooligans. Yeah, nice. not one yet. Oh, nice Ooh. punish on that DP. Now you can make the cannon. You can make the cannon spike save on block as yeah. well. Oh, it's getting tricky. Oh, what oh, a bait! No. Oh, what a bait! Wow. If that had, if he had caught the drill part, that would have chipped out, and he Silent Scope would have taken that game. But Kuropi takes that one. Clutch with the uh, old Honda. Old man game. Old character game. Yeah, uh, Silent Scope is. Uh, about my, it's about my age, maybe a little younger, but. How old are you? Uh, <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Catches him with the butt slam. Yeah, there's something with new Honda with his. He can do different stuff with his hands. Um, it sounds ridiculous to say like 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's got he's got tricks with his hands. The new Honda just now. Yeah, so nice. this is a slightly different matchup. There you go, the yeah. tick throws is we're talking about taking the full throw damage. <gasps> oh no! It's not gonna oh. kill him. No! What? Oh, drops oh. the headbutt! The super ship. Oh wow. Execution error, but works out for Sansco. Wow, what a match. What a round right there. Oh, oh wow, nice. is that a punish? I, I don't I know. A punish. Oh shit. No, no ma'am. The there you go, there's go. the first hooligan. Yeah. Ooh, I think oh, that was no. an execution error. He usually punishes that sweep. No throw? It's karate chop? Nice. Dude, so wow, good. the low forward. Sounds good. Takes game two, 1 1 apiece. Cammy poses. <laughs> And we got You're the no ST top eight cheering for Bob, cheering for the the old school. <laughs> but where's the silent scope love at? Where's the new school it's, it's love right keeping here on stage. this? I he guess so, need, right? Keeping the, the game alive, yeah. They both beat me, so I don't know who they're <laughs> rooting against. You're you're in, in different <laughs> for this match. I would be too. I mean, you gotta. Cami's my lady. I play her in uh, Marvel too, so I'm always <laughs> excited to. Uh, wreck some house in a ST, which is you won't see that often. No, you will not. And like I said, James Chen Oof. will tell you. Nice. Oh, oh no, 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 that's, that's dead. That's, that's a dead game. Nice catch. Well. Catches him sleeping on that drill. Oh, nice punish. Uh oh. Okay, so Honda can reset here, he can catch his breath a little bit, he survived. Cammy can almost kill you with one combo, because he's just going to yeah. dizzy you. Yeah, she, she you that, again. that's a great point to make. Yeah, she does have a dizzy combo. Damn, that does so much damage. Punish. Needs a few more, needs a little bit more chip to get in that chip range. Ooh, Ooh the shit. air throw. Damn. Great awareness by Silent Get the Skull. deck. Oh, nice that's what DP, great reaction yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fine. Finally an escape. And, and, and you know, uh, in the team tournament yesterday, Silent Scope had a great match against Karopi, so maybe that was enough data for uh, this this download. matchup today. Yeah. Not necessarily download, but you know, getting used to it. Nice tick throw Oof. and then the super uh -oh. chip. Oh, that what was a miss. Oh. That was a miss super. All right, 2-1, Kuropi. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he sticks with the old Honda. Let's see if he changes it up to a different character. He's been playing this game for so yeah. long. Oh, it's kind of funny because you would think, like, you know, I don't know, you'd, like, mellow out a little bit because, like, in ST, we're all friends and everything, but Bob is so serious when he's playing, and I know he wants it so bad right now. Yeah, man, this is top eight. This is, this is all serious business right here. Oof. Great pressure by Silent Scope right here. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. there's that stun combo we were talking about just earlier. She does. She actually does like uh, more damage per hit on average, I think, than almost most characters in the game. It's just hard to use her tools. It, yes, it's hard to get land those hits exactly, especially in this matchup when Honda can create such a wall for her to try to get in. Yeah, I mean this is a really hard matchup for Cami. You, you, you wouldn't. It doesn't look like it right now, but it's really, really tough. But that just goes to the uh, the credit of Silent Scope, you know, sticking with this character through and through. Yeah, it's awesome. More people should do that. Stay true to yourself. Nice oh, headbutt man. by Kuropi there. Wow, this is a punish. I don't know, man. Bob might be out of answers, but we'll see. I think Bob that is so annoying, it, man. man. Oh, there's that, that low throw. forward delay cannon drill catches everybody. Wow, oh, the shit. super caught him. Oh my gosh. It's not a, that well. Oh, it, yeah, there now it is. is. All right, Silent Scope <laughs> takes it. New and school beats in, old school. Advances man. in the tournament. With, would you would you say the worst character on average in the game, Cammy? Uh, Faye? He, he didn't make it look like it at that point, but no, yeah. No, I mean, just like on paper. It's he, all, on, you know. on paper, yes. Game yeah. Shen will and tell that's you why that's it's like the right even more right awesome now. to watch <laughs> Silence go play because yeah. no Americans. I mean, and James doesn't really get to play anymore. James Shen, you know. Yeah, he's, he's actually, always here on the He mic. was actually in Canada, and they ran an ST uh, exhibition with him. They said he was telling us. Oh, sweet. Yeah, boy. yeah. So he got to play some uh, recently. Uh, like a James Shen giving Silence go some advice. But right now, we're gonna have a great. <laughs> Matchup. I'm excited for yeah, this. We, we got a shot of that. The two, the two camis. Yeah, uh, we the, got the mentor and the student. <laughs> I like it. Right now, we're gonna have Mr. Igloo versus Ultra Combo. We're gonna have an Ultra Sagat versus Boxer. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, so Ultra Combo, the youngest competitor here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Those are the little babies. Amongst oh. all this uh, old bastards. All right, so, yeah, this is... Bison really, he's really got to be careful with his uh, headbutts. I mean, uh, his uh, his up buffalo. Mm -hmm. Because, um, yeah, so Gosh is going to do this all day pretty much. And it's up to... Oh, oh no. missed the DP in between, between, yeah. But you can do it is really smart. But... That's very good. Takes that first one. Not easy. You know, Bowser can vary the timing too yeah, to, to mess with your uppercut. And Mr. Igloo just came back from Japan, uh, and you know they're they have basically perfected ST there. That nice damage. confirm. Oh, oh the no. dizzy! We're gonna see some damage right here. Oh, still oh, alive! So for all our non-ST players, Osagata is basically regarded as the cheapest character in the game. Yeah, I and mean, it's kind of like soft band, kind of frowned upon in uh, Japanese play, but not in America. We're Americans, baby. man. Yep. Everything is fair game. You do what you got to do to win. And oh, and, and you bring that up. The reason why is look at that fireball recovery, and then when you see it, the uppercut damage will be massive. Oh, there oh, it goes. And that was just a jab one. Yeah, so his low tiger has like almost no fireball recovery on it, so he can just basically do this all day. It's up to other characters to negotiate yeah. the sea of fireballs. A little bit like, you know, like Morgan Marvel oh, 3 kind of stuff. Yeah, and you know, there's a style of Balrog where uh, you palm the three kicks yeah, to yeah. Hold, have charge, and I don't I don't know if Igloo is using that right now. Mm. I didn't see really, uh, a lot of turn punches. We there. can't see his hands. He's yeah, on the can't. other side. <laughs> Design flaw. No, he can right there, but yeah. Back to the I'm match. I'm too short. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like I bet he's going to be a little more aggressive here. Okay, he's getting in. Yeah. Yeah, boxer, you got to get those knockdowns because you now you're, he's back to square zero again. Now he's got to come up with a whole new game plan on getting in. And uh, I play old Sagat, so I know what a pain in the ass it is. Yeah. <laughs> he's got that super on lock. Nice. Wow. Crazy knockdown. Oh, I thought he was in this uh, dash sweep there. Yeah, there nice. He's okay. at he's at a good range if you can oh, oh that God, he took the bait. Yes. Uh, one thing to note is a lot of old Osagot players will uh, have a you know a similar uh, fireball pattern. Ultra Combo is very good at mixing up his fireball pattern. Very good. See like an, an old Sagat player would have done a fireball right after the other, but he takes a little second wait, so there he goes, another wait. Yeah. It's old school man, these old school skills. I know you guys are young, but you got the old school mentality. <laughs> oh, uh, one, one, uh, there burns it is. It. So what you, no, oh, the head. He had raids. him in the corner, but yeah, geez, can't make a mistake there. Two zip. Come on, Igloo. Let's go. This is tough, uh, but yeah, uh, Ultra Combo loves this game very much. Uh, the beautiful game, as he likes to, to say. <laughs> oh, what missed the, the punish, missed the punish. ST, man. Oh, uh, but, you know, <laughs> bad spot for Rog what right here. Doing? Oh, no. Look at this damage. Look at that damage, guys. Oh, there you oh, go. My. Oh, oh, no. My. <laughs> just, missed, just messed up his timing with Boxer there. Oh, is that a I don't think you can uppercut a turn punch, right? I think if you you're can. waking up. Oh, not only up, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice snuff! Wow, that's really that's, that's there. You go. Really Are we tough. gonna get the mix-up? Oh, oh misses my the God. throw, but he's gonna get the win. Yeah. All right, Igloo gets around. He's still alive, but Ultra Combo is on set point. Match point. Nice oh. headbutt. That psychic headbutt. Oh my Ooh. God, man! Gotta get in. So basically, like. You can save jump so that the other guy like can't uh, uppercut you. Yeah, you know, the Shoto can't uppercut you. It's, it's again, it's really hard to do, especially in turn. There you go. Mr. Eagle gets in. Good spot. Yeah, oh, that turn punch. <sighs> Didn't take oh, that throw. Oh, full damage. Oh no. Now, now Sagat has a full screen to work with, and he's Second. working on chip. Oh, now he misses. Oh, he just might gotta go for it. Nah, the stand short Was takes that a punish? it. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah, you could have blocked that. Golf claps from Tanya. Yeah. So Ultra <laughs> Combo advances. Down. Right now we're going to yeah. have Silent Scope. Playing. Um, 
Oh my gosh, he's going through the Honda Gauntlet today? No, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's playing uh, Eugene. Oh wow. Oh, this is L Trouble. Jamie, Jamie's good against Nelson, right? On paper? You know. That's one of the only characters she's like actually good against. I don't know how well uh, Silent Scope does in tournament against L Trouble. Dawson Cammy. Uh. Uh, I would like to say L Trouble has the advantage, but again, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. So because this is the first favorable matchup that I've seen him play, so yeah. it'll just be interesting. It should work out for him. Yeah, then this is... He knows her so well. It's so does. fun to watch. So I think we're going to do a button check right now. Yep. He's not playing new can. Come on. Yeah, this is a button check. Uh, look at these guys. Look at these guys with their Street Fighter shirts. Guile and Blanca. They're not even going to play these characters. It's a fun little exhibition. Yep. Looks like they're ready to go. Who's that short, short super? Look at this sportsmanship. They're shaking each other's hands. Oh, nope. Nope, not yet. <laughs> they just reset the console. All right, let's go. We're, we're all cool outside of the game, yeah. but on we're, stage, we're gonna no have handshakes. Cammy versus Dawson. I really... I, I'm so used to watching Silence like? go playing against Honda. You know, I'm going to say Dawson. Yeah. yeah. Eugene, I mean, man, he's, his Dawson, he's, he's got his, like, formulas. So down pad, he and he's, he makes you, he just, he just puts you through the motions. Mm -hmm. But if you get him like out of whack a little bit, which is really hard with all of Dalson's skills. Nice, oh wow, that's yeah. a big trade. So you, want, you definitely want to keep Cammy at a distance. Yeah. Because she does so much damage, and you know, she doesn't have a projectile or anything, and her spinning knuckle is garbage. I was going to say, too, this is the one match where we might see the spinning knuckle. We didn't get to see it the last match. Oh, nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wow. Short little Indians, wow. Eugene takes that first round, no trouble. And one thing, uh, you know, I don't know if people watching the stream who are new to ST are going to be uh, un oh, unfamiliar with, but this... Oh, what a link. Yep. And he's got the super for the chip. Uh, I was going to say, though, this is a probably the fastest version of Dalsum in any Street Fighter game. This with, was the fastest Street Fighter, Fighter game, like... Yeah. Oh, Everything. wow. Are we going to see a stun? Throw? Nice. Nice tech. Oh, no. That's tough. You, you, oh, that was a wow! Oh, that is the, that is the L Trouble special. The short <laughs> dive to throw. He does that every time and catches people ninety percent of the time. It's annoying. I hate it. Yeah, Everybody Simon, on go. stream should hate Why it. Why weren't you looking for that? He does it ninety percent of the time. Look at the scrub over here. No, oh, man, he does it ninety percent of the time. It gets everybody. It's annoying. It's like. You're saying that's annoying, and I have to watch <laughs> low forward in a cannon drill that doesn't even connect, and he does that every time? Hey, man, we all play all trouble. Even Silent Scope knows. Yeah, and I, I bet, I can't do I bet deep down he knew so. it, too. Oh, man, look at this. So when he had Delsum in the corner, like, what what could Delsum do about Hooligan if Delsum's stuck in the corner? That was a that was a good question, and we, we saw that, but, you know, the Because other characters can jump back yeah. in uh, Roundhouse, and she won't catch him out of the air, but I don't know what Delsum would even could do about that. Could he stand jab that? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But, uh, you know, look at this. Uh, Sanscope getting... Oh, missed input right there. Oh, oh. tick throw. He's getting a lot of mileage off these tick throws. There's another one. That floaty recovery, man. There's another <laughs> one, and he takes it with a tick throw. Going in. Yeah. She's a brawler. Nice oh, awareness for that dive kick by Okay, it wasn't a three hitter. Fire. Yeah, Delson can dizzy you. And it's just yeah. like, what happened? So, there it is. Wow. Okay. Nice. Throws him in the corner. It's a nice read. Nice. Oh. Oh, man. Just missed it. Oh, no. trouble. Wow, oh, the what? counter throw by Al Trouble. How did that happen? That was so clutch. Al Trouble goes up 2 0, Silent Scope. And you see all the work Silent Scope is putting in. Yeah, oh my god, man. Yeah, and this is supposed to be a favorable matchup, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, but it's like Eugene Sim is just, he's. So Dalsum is so weird in Super Turbo because you can control if you want the far limb or like the close limb. You can yes. do that in any part of the screen, which in most Street Fighters, at least I know you can't do. So it's really hard to play, but it means he's got like twice the amount of tools. Yes. Okay, are we going to see the mix up? Nope. I'm just content to keep him at bay, which is probably smart. That, that was. Stand jab, there you go. That, yeah. He just knows the exact positioning to do like a jump around. Standing jab to counter yeah. that. 
Yeah, so El Trouble's got the, uh, it looks like he's got this uh, matchup on Pat right now. In control. Ooh, that trade with the cannon draw? The take throw, there we go. Okay, this is what got nice, the hooligans. Nice. Yeah, Ooh. I would think that's gotta be really hard for Delson to deal with those hooligans, because the jump is so terrible, so we'd have to jump back and probably drill down. And jumping backwards and drilling down, can you do that? You know, one, you one thing I think maybe Dawson can do, which, you know, I haven't seen uh, El Trouble use, is teleport. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not one teleport yet. Yeah, but there point. you go, tick, tick throw. Nice. Wow. Catching that dive kick. Oh, went for oh, the tick nice. throw again. Oh, misses the DP yeah. on that bad uh, headlight. not much of a punish, though. Ooh, and, uh, okay, so let's go See? gets one on the board. All right, he's not going home yet. The blue eyed girl. Let's go, Cammy. Yeah, if this was Wednesday Night Fights, this, <laughs> this would be a top three matchup for sure. This would, they would be playing for top three. So How's they, they doing they, against Tomo? They've been playing, they able yeah, to play Tomo, a lot? Yeah, Tomo just got here, uh, you know, recently a few weeks ago. ago. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll trouble taking some time. Tomo is awesome, by the way. If um, you're at Wednesday Night Fights, even if you're not a super turbo player, um, yeah. spend her a month. He's working on his English. His English is really fantastic. Um, just say hi. He's yeah. a really cool guy. Nice deep he right off the bat. Gonna have to get crazy. Let's go. There you go, hooligan. Super aggressive. She's got to be close. Got to take some chances. Especially if he's a low tier. So nice. He's really oh. feeling. It. He's really feeling it. Let's go. Sometimes you just need that one game to get you going. Yeah, especially in Super Turbo. It's such a momentum game. Because it's so nice fast. Look at I'm that. surprised the Yoga Flame didn't hit her. And the that. stun. Looking Look really good. Looking really good <laughs> in the tick throw. 2-2. Two, two, two. Two, Here we two. go. Just like that. He, he, one little break. And you're all even. Now, so, now he here's, kills you so fast. It's unbelievable. You know, I was going to sit. Oh, he went straight to Dawson. I was just wondering if you, uh, Al Trouble, was going to pick another character. Because he can't play Ryu and he can't yeah. play Guile. Sticking with it. Wow. Can't believe oh, there's that spin wow. knuckle. The <laughs> first time we see it. Yeah. Wow. Nice read. That yoga, yoga flame catches. It's so active sometimes. Yeah, it's like Dalsum. He can just like put you through like his little machine. I mean, he's like clockwork. When he's in control, he's just got so many answers. Mm -hmm. Like that. It's like he's got so many tools. Yeah. And that drill is crazy. And the way Eugene can use it. Match point for all trouble. It's two two right now. Yeah. Ignore, ignore that score. They didn't think he was going to win again. <laughs> they all went home. Oh, he tried to hooligan over the Yoga Flame, but the hitbox board is so big. Oh, this is answer him. Still, Trouble's all he needs super. is one hit. He just needs one hit. Oh, that stand jab oh, super chip down. right here. So it's okay. It's okay, Cammy. Can't hooligan from there, though. That would be a little crazy. Oh, oh wow. Oh, man, he's it's in okay. chip range. you got to be careful. Oh, oh, the counter throw. Because it's like, what else can you do? They're yeah. for throw. It was smart. Al Trouble takes it with the counter throw. Damn, nice. Good, good set. Good set, man. Very good set. James Chen giving us oh. some cami love right here. Oh, the man. Camiites. New school, old school together. Oh, oh put a while. Hug. Look at this. It. <laughs> it's uh, a beautiful moment. It. There's an embrace between James and Silent Scope right there. Super turbo. Yeah, so right now, I, I believe... Got a good scene. Yeah. Is it going to be uh, El, El Trouble playing Ultra Combo? Um, I, what's, your, what's your phone say? I think my phone says it should be that. I couldn't even find the uh, the bracket online. Or, or do so they want to do uh, winners finals? Yeah, we should do winners, losers, grand. Yeah, uh, they're discussing that right now. But uh, anyway, SCR on Level Up Live on Twitch. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Having some great top eight action. Galleon, Blockbuster John. Yeah. No one knows me anymore. I used to, <laughs> we used to run um, these tournament season beatings that uh, we got. It was good times. And we really love uh, the. Alright, so we're. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna have a switch. We're gonna get uh, James up on the mic. The man, James yep. Chen. Alright, I'm gonna get off. Alright. How you doing, James? I looked up and I was like, is that Chris? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. 
I take, I take it back. No, no, they, they, they want me to stay. All right, I am being joined by James. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel bad here. I don't want. I didn't want to kick Chris off or anything like that. You know that, what, James? But that was some great Cami love that the stream was missing, and now <laughs> they got to see you commentate without Cami on, in the tournament anymore. What was that losers bracket? That was losers bracket, oh, man. No, yeah. I'm done with this. No, <laughs> oh yeah, and there's. I think it was Tomo who sent El Trouble the losers. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. So is this winner's finals here with Tomo versus Afro Legends? Mm -hmm. And uh, they are no strangers. Afro Legends is back from a two-year hiatus. He said three years. He said three. It's only two years uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it's a, the legend the is going to keep going. Gonna, yeah. yeah, next time we see him, he's like, it's been ten it's years since i the first time I've played this game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this has been grand finals for the past two or three weeks at Wednesday Night Fights. Oh, yeah. For sure, but it's so cool. I mean, dude, it's like a veritable like reunion here that I'm looking at. Like, yeah, wow, we've got Terry and Bob and DGB and Gee, everybody's here. Muffin Man is here. Yeah, even Chris Gallion. Like, yeah, I haven't seen him in forever. Everybody is excited and happy to sudden, see Chris. So. <laughs> right now we got a uh, Afro Legends and Tomo. All right. Oh, I think this is a bunch. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, check. there's no yeah. way Afro Legends is gonna go with. Re I mean, look, yeah. I used to watch. Valle and Afro Legends play for like hours, and Afro Legends gave Vi so much trouble in that fight, and so I'm assuming he's just gonna go with Balrog. Uh, he's actually been running DJ all tournaments. I asked oh, him. He really? said he might he might do both though. Okay, okay. I will point out though, when Afro Legends came back the first week, he ran all DJ one Wednesday night fights, defeating Tomo in grand finals mm -hmm. with DJ. Okay, then the next okay. week, he ran Balrog. Uh, most of Wednesday Night Fights, defeating Tomo in Grand Finals with Bara. Okay, well, that's how you get the practice right yeah. there. Go with both Shaking characters. Shaking the rust off, but he and does he, go yeah. Boxer. Yeah, this is such a tough fight just because once Boxer gets in there and then his headbutt has more invincibility than all of the uppercuts. Yep. And oddly enough, Ryu's fireball is actually too fast. For in this exactly. fight. Exactly. When you're screen away and you throw a fireball and you headbutts through it, it's harder to punish. And there is a five right there. I mentioned earlier that there's a style play where you palm the kick buttons where you have access to turn punch and the rush mm -hmm. punches still, and that's how Afro plays. Oh, well, it's not too slow once you have him in the corner like yes. this. And Tomo getting the throw, taking that first round very convincingly. Let's see if he can get Afro Legend to switch to DJ. Yeah. There you go, but you see these fast turn punches, these numbers are going 5-3. It's because he's holding <laughs> turn oh, punch yeah. right now. All the buttons. Oh, now he's got the and super. And he's got the super too, so you got to watch your fireball. Oh, oh here's a chance. He tried to bait out the super, and he go a oh, full screen now. See right there, this full screen headbutt thing, it's harder for Ryu to punish that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh! He got with that upper of up, yeah. that second hit of that super. That was so smart from him. He was aware of that. He's like, you know what? He's probably going to try to bait it, so I'll have this ready for him. And the jump back. Do you think if he jumped back Tatsu, he would have had more space to avoid that mm. headbutt thing? I think he wanted to kick it on the way down. He wanted to kick it. He was hoping that Afro Legends wouldn't be ready to go with the upper instead. Look at this, dude. We're 20 seconds in, and he's already got super. <laughs> Welcome to Balrog. Right. Oh, oh, nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice kick. Counter throw again by Tomo. Tomo with a life lead. Oh yeah, pause for just a second. Gave him that low rush in there. Balrog so plus after that. Ooh, oh nice. Oh, he nice. went for the headbutt. Oh, oh boy, here we go. go. Oh, mix up. Oh, he oh, missed wow. the super. He missed it. He wanted to do dash into super or maybe even dash into headbutt. Yeah, headbutt would have won in that situation as well. All right, well, Tomo takes the first game, so let's see if Afro Legends is going to think about switching characters or he's going to stick with Boxer. Going to Boxer, yeah. And, you know, something yeah. to note, towards the end of that last match, Afro Legends took his hands off the kick so he can get that throw, mm -hmm. that throw mix up going. Mm -hmm. see you can punch. tell that Afro Legends is true old school, sitting on the floor. Yep, taking his shoes off, just like he's in your living room playing. <laughs> Here we go. That corner position, which is so rough for Shoto. And he's got super, so he has to watch his fireballs. Man. See that headbutt blowing up oh, the low forward? Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Trying to chase Ryu down. Now, he's got a super again. Look at that. In less than 15 seconds, another super. Ryu's barely got his first super. Yeah, different special moves build different amounts of meter. Mm -hmm. They balanced it based on what they thought was the easiest to do. <laughs> and um, 
So hey. they said, you know what, Ryu's Fireball isn't going to build any super meter at all. And uh, sucks nice to be headbutt. Ryu. Are we going to see Chip? Okay. Yep. There you go. Yeah. And I feel like Afro Legends did that kick charge into Super just to test, like, make sure that he could still do it because he missed it in that last last round. I mean, I, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about there. I hate when I miss something and I just got to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here oh, we, we go. Cross up Toxus. He gets the headbutt, the auto-corrected headbutt. Oh, oh, too far. Nice sweep. You got to be careful. It's enough to block that Ooh, headbutt. Wow, did you see that? You gotta be careful with the fireballs. Afro Legend has super on deck. Oh, man. Oh, I think sweep. you can squeeze it. Oh, oh my stun. god, really? It was the angels. It wasn't the birds. It wasn't the stars. <laughs> it wasn't the Grim Reapers. It was the angels. So we got 1 1 Afro Legends versus Tomo, all the way from Japan. That's right. And, you know, he lives out here in SoCal. So, as you mentioned, he's been at all of the Wednesday night fights recently. So, yes. it's awesome to have him visiting all the time, playing some Super Turbo, yeah. showing us that, giving us that high level Ryu practice. Yes. You get to watch that. It's great. Nice fireball. Okay, he's in there with that low. Oops. Oh, here you go. Yeah, no, that, you know what? You should have expect. You should expect that. I should say, because he wants to keep the corner, mm -hmm. and then a turnaround punch to hit him out of the air. Yeah, because the other side of that mix-up is he walks under you, and but that situation he would have cornered himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotta watch out for that super. And he's just building up the chip right now, after Legends, to uh, you know get that super chip kill or just get yeah. a better life advantage. Being patient, see him just like yeah, he's willing to just lose some ground because he knows he just needs a few more tiny hits. Yeah. But he has put himself all the way in the corner now, so this might be a problem because, like I said, that's yeah, where the speed. It. Yeah, this is where the speed. Oh, <laughs> the low forward bait to super. Great stuff by Tomo right there. That's called the shimmies from the 90s <laughs> right there. Just do low forward right in the super. Oh, cross up Tatsu. Another one. No one misses it. Misses the headbutt. Yeah. Trying to chase him down now. Yep. As soon as you stand up, you just get caught low. Ooh, there you go. That's the classic ball rock right there. Man, that's so fast. Ooh. Oh, I think he tried to headbutt. He might have missed it or just uh, dashed a little too late. I'm surprised that uh, Spiral wasn't supered right there. Yeah, same here. And you see Tomo whipping random buttons. He's trying to uh, vary his fireball pattern so After Legend doesn't get a read on that. Oh, Ooh. no. It was too wow. far. It was too far. Yeah, he was trying to go for the Hail Mary headbutt. Did not reach. Great Let's awareness see. by Tomo to get that confirmed right there. The low strong sweep. Well, that means now Tomo is at game point to get into grand finals. Yep. Oh, sticking with Boxer, no DJ. Yeah, I feel like both of those characters do have a slight advantage. Well, I feel like DJ has a slight advantage. I feel like Balrog has a pretty significant yeah. advantage. But you can see how if you're just good like Tomo. <laughs> it's experience, man. But not to say that Afro Legends doesn't have experience against great Ryu's, too. He learned playing against some great Ryu's. Wow. Execution right. area right but, there. But I mean, but you have to remember that Afro Legends hasn't played in like 25 years, 25 right? 25 years, yeah. <laughs> That headbutt through the fireball is such a pain for Shoto's, but that back throw was crucial because he got the corner, but look yep. at this, Afro Legends stealing the screen space right back. And he's got the super chip on deck. Oh, no super there. Yeah, okay, okay, here okay. we go, and no tech even. Might have been holding some of those buttons down for the turnaround punch. Very close situation. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. And that's but the toughest thing is that that charge is so fast that even if you know it's coming, if he just throws it out once every three times he headbutts through the fireball, it's impossible to know. Yeah. Tomo, is he going to change characters? Nope, sticking with Ryu. Have, have, has anybody seen Tomo use another character? I've seen him play against, you know, lower level players. Like, yeah, I've seen him use T-Hawk and, you know. Okay, other, okay. Yeah, but not against Afro. He's using this grade A stuff <laughs> against this guy. Gets him with that low rush. Punch to the face and now caught low. Basic safe jump timing. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! Was that a three? I don't know, but that looked a lot like how Street Fighter V ended on Friday. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Avi Rog against LPN. <laughs> oh, a little too early on that headbutt. Lots of Tatsu. Nice block by Apple there. Oh, nice. And using the jump strong to make sure that Four. that hit. 
I like how he's advancing with forward fierce. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's why that move is so good. It's just so for, good for position. It actually makes it easier to move forward and fireball yes. because you don't get accidental uppercuts yeah, it's that a, way. It's tighter execution in this game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, he clipped him. That's what he tried that one round. Nice. Here Ooh, we go. Mini Super. No, no, he went for the cross up Tatsu. I think he was worried about the wake up Super from yeah. Apple's part. It, I like that decision. And he was probably going to do cross up Tatsu right into Super. So even if he had blocked it, it would have killed him anyway. Yep. Not so enough now, time to get that charge for that Super. Yeah. We're down to the last game, the last round here. Great set. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. he put himself in the corner. That's a problem. Slowly inching his way up, but he's back in there. Oh, God, so, so much damage. Nice, nice. whip punish. Oh, and then the two hits on the cross of Tatsu. Mm. Great button for Afro. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. What's the... Oh, it's... Oh, he no! it. Oh, my God. What happened? That was not supposed to be an uppercut. You think you wanted a super. Oh, oh, there oh it is. Gosh. The fireball. Afro Legends was given a second life with that missed yes. combo from Tomo, but he couldn't quite take advantage of it. And there it is, Afro Legends. Oh, okay. So we're going straight to losers, losers finals. Final, yeah. Okay. Okay. That was a gotcha. great set, and I believe that's the first time Tomo has defeated Afro. Oh. I think, besides like a bracket reset in grand so finals. I wonder if it, like if he comes back. Do you think he might go with TJ? Who knows? Who yeah. knows? I but mean, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Yes. He still has to get through one L trouble. See the brackets right there. L Trouble versus. Oh no, oh, actually, L Trouble's got the full Ultra Combo first. Ah, that makes wow. sense. That makes sense. Yes. Okay, so that's proper. So I was about to say, because, like, honestly, tournaments need to do the winner's finals, loser's semi, then loser's finals. Yeah. That's the order they need to go in, because that way the person who's in uh, winner's finals after they lose, they don't have to play right away. They don't have to play right away, exactly. And usually yes, you're yes, kind yes. of salty in that situation. <laughs> I'm, and I'm of that belief too. Yeah. Uh, so right now, right, we're just doing a button check right now. But Ultra Combo all the way from NorCal. Out Trouble from SoCal. Mm -hmm. This is probably, uh, I would say, NorCal's best, you know, new school player, and yeah. SoCal's best new school player. Yeah, he's a right now. he's a young guy, uh, and he loves this game. He's I saw him on stream talk about how he loves the game. He it's, thinks it's, it's a beautiful game. It's so nice to see young people who are who are so intelligent these days. You know, <laughs> they know which games are the good games. <laughs> Ultra combo, of course. Really, really strong old Sagat old player. Sagat, yeah. But you know what? The only character who might be one of the only like two or three characters that might be more cheap than old Sagat, Dalsa. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is a bunch. Okay, are we going claw uh, and sim? You know what? This is yeah. yes. Because wow. to be honest with you. Dalsim does really well against Sagat, old yes. Sagat. He's like one of the characters that can fight him really well. Now this fight, ooh, a mystery. We're gonna counter mystery. cheap with cheap. Yeah, but you know, this is a, a strange fight because Dalsim, if he can get a throw loop going, it's problems, it's problems. And, and actually, SoCal ST, I will say right now, has a weakness because they do not have a lot of Vega players. We don't have, we don't, you know, we're missing a lot of players right mm -hmm. now, yeah. Wow. So here we go, Hyo Ball time. Oh no, he missed the wall dive. Oh, Look at that trade yeah, right there. Yeah, uh huh. And guess what? Dalsum falls to the floor. What is going on? I mean, it could go where, where you said we don't have uh, Vegas mm -hmm. here. Claws and and here. actually, most of the time when I've gotten to Wednesday night fights recently, I've been using a lot of Vega okay. to try to get the practice there. Except my Vega is not going to be at ultra combo <laughs> level. No. So. And I haven't seen Ultra Combo in a bit. There hasn't been a many ST events since the Tournament of Legends. Mm -hmm. So great time to play another game. Oh! You're talking about James, the throw mix-up. Yeah. Oh, oh he does again. Sweep. Man, L Trouble going with all the dirty stuff right now. These are two cheap characters. No wall jump. I was expecting a wall jump right there. Yeah. Every, why does that work so well? It's like, it's going to go away, it's going to go to it, and then you push the button uh -huh. and you die. <laughs> Oh, here we go, heel ball time. What side? Oh no, he missed it again. If you're in the middle of the screen, all you ever want to do with heel ball is time it on the second bounce of the, uh, on the first yep. bounce of the opponent. As soon as they hit the ground, heel ball, go off to the wall again. Yeah, shades of Mal from Tournament of Legends. Yeah. I hope the crowd's just gonna start doing the Vega noise. <laughs> But you know what? The one thing that I haven't seen Ultra Combo do yet that Mao is the expert at is the wake up crouching light punch that like shifts his hitbox. Ooh. That thing is so dirty. Oh, gets oh, the drop. Boy. It's almost yeah, dead. Oh. 
All right. So <laughs> we have one person in the crowd clapping. So Elf Trouble does have access to the other characters, but I don't know. You know, he plays Gal, he plays Ryu. Oh, nope. nope. nope sticking with Sim. Stick okay. With Dalsim, yeah. But this is, uh, again, to get in the Losers Finals to go against Afro, Afro Legends. Legends. Yeah. And it's interesting because Afro Legends isn't even truly old school himself with the fighting games. He's kind of mid school, you know. I remember watching him in the Evo Wests. Yeah. People don't remember those. Mm -hmm. In the boxing arena? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the ultra combo using playing Vega how you should play Vega. If you're gonna play this character, that's what you need to learn. Counter pick. Yeah. Counter pick. <laughs> Ooh. Now you saw Dawson right there block Vega's path to the wall, so he wasn't able to get that jump in. And again, you know, I, I joke about the counter pick, but that is what Super Turbo is. Super Turbo has been known for counter picks. In fact, if you remember in uh, B5 and uh, well, oh, man, been. you're going way old school, Dave. Yeah. You're going back to the tips and tricks days, dude. <laughs> oh, what? That was an accident, wow. but it worked out for him. Ultra combo moves on. Yeah, that's but a pretty nasty counter pick. If you remember from B5 and EVO 2002, Jason Cole took both of those events over Nuki, mm -hmm. and that was entirely based on the first match. Because whoever won the first match, then it was counter picking, yes, and then they would yes. win that way. And so Jason Cole always managed to win the first game, and so that's why and, and, he would take. And that's how counter picking hands. goes. You want to counter pick, and you want to win that first match to make uh, the other opponent counter pick you, uh -huh. which in turn lets you counter pick them with your stronger character. Sometimes your main. Sometimes right. you counter pick with your secondary. Exactly. Exactly. So. That's always been the nature of ST, mm -hmm. except for stubborn people who stick to low tier characters for no reason yeah. at all whatsoever. Oh, you're preaching the choir on that <laughs> one, dude. In five. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. You are using the Kami of Street Fighter. I am. Man. <laughs> Which Cammy's is funny because Kami is actually kind of the Ryu of Street Fighter Five. Yeah. I think she's the best character to start with. Yeah, yeah. You know, I actually think she's like the closest character you get from that's kind of similar to four style yeah. play to five. But anyways, we're not yeah, talking about we're Super Turbo. We're, we're talking about Super ST. Turbo. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. And we got Afro Legends going up against Ultra Combo. This is for Losers Finals. Winner gets to face Tomo. Uh, we're just setting up Afro Legends stick right here. He like, like you said, he's as old school as he can get. Plays on the floor. Mosh shoes stick, off. Right? No, 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 he plays Japanese, man. Oh, he, he does play Japanese. Oh, okay, he's okay. not quite Choi. He's a step above Choi oh, in terms okay. of. <laughs> See, John Choi needs to like step up, man. He needs to like. Get with the times. Yeah, he's Square Gates. Come on. There's gonna be a time where like no one can fix Mostics anymore, and Choi's just not gonna switch. He's just gonna <laughs> learn how to fix them himself. All right, here okay. we go. I oh, think oh, this, no, is no, this is fun checking. This is fun Although you know what, me and uh, one old school player, Derek Daniels, mm -hmm. we always joke that all ST casual sessions turn into Shoto Shoto eventually. Everyone always ends up with like Ryu Ken somehow. If you know. Say what you want about you know Ryu and you know the past Street Fighter twos and Ken and the past Street Fighter twos, but it's always fun to go back to just to see. You know, you saw Fireball with that character, and you're like, wow, what is that? You saw the Tatsu, <laughs> you saw the DP. So I think everybody who plays Street Fighter two in general just has a not certain nostalgia with those two characters. I'm wondering who. So uh, Ultra Combo was the one who sent Afro Legends to losers, if I'm not mistaken. No, right? Tomo. Tomo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like but he picks old Ken. Interesting. So I guess. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Old Ken versus DJ. He doesn't want to use old Sagat versus DJ. Oh. That's a very interesting choice. And, you know, one thing to note for the viewers who are not familiar with ST, what makes old Ken, you know, good in some eyes is that his DP, his jab DP is an excellent recovery and great active frames on the on the hitbox. And it's invincible the entire way up. Up until Super, Super Turbo was the first time that the uppercuts lost invincibility all, all, the entire way up. And, that, and thus, actually, Ken and Ryu, old Ryu and old Ken are the only people who have uppercuts that can outlast Balrog's headbutt. Yeah. And another thing to note, too, he has a slightly faster fireball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he doesn't have crazy kicks, something yes. new Ken has. <laughs> Which can be a problem, because when you try to walk up and sweep and you get the wrong kick, it's so painful. And that's such an Afro Legends thing here. Just do that one light up kick and then not even go with juggles afterwards. Yep. Oh no! The cross of the ambiguous stuff! Yeah, Afro is really good at just playing solid, playing, sticking to a solid game plan. And yep, going back to old Ken again. Mm, okay. But yeah, sticking to a solid game plan, going for a max, nothing fancy. Always goes for the stuff that he knows. 
Yeah, so far every single t every single round has just been, you know, this back and forth here in this neutral. But then Afro Legends gets one knockdown and then the ambiguous cross up. Yeah, the ambiguous the cross up, yes. Uh, yeah, that can hit in the front or the back. I remember uh, back at Super Arcade days, Afro Legends would come so often that I got to the point where I knew which one was which. <laughs> Dang. Nice. Oh wow, he still made it, it yeah. over that, yeah. And yeah. And there right there is an advantage of DJ. He has a long jump, but it's low. So you can actually hit heavy uh, roundhouse kind of early in your jump, and you will still be able to kick the Shotos in the head. Yeah, such a <laughs> Hey, yeah, you're, I, kick. I don't like this matchup as a show. <laughs> yeah, see right there. You see how early he hit heavy or roundhouse? Yeah. A lot of characters, they have to hit it on their way down in order to hit him. There you go, another one right there. Oh, oh that's it. There yeah, I, okay, into low fear. Oh, no. Then, does it mash him? Doesn't matter. Does it Doesn't matter. He's like, well, I missed that combo. Let me show you another one that I got. Well, that's the thing, too. Uh, in this one, in this game, Street Fighter 2, you are able to mash out a stun pretty hard. So yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, Ultra yeah. Combo uh, was uh, expecting him to drop that. Right. So he probably yeah. wasn't mashing. Well, Ultra Combo is going to go with Ultra God. This is his last chance now. It is 2-1 to one right now. And Ultra Combo needs to win this in order to get to Grand Finals versus Tomo. But so far, this is looking great yes. for Afro Legends. Now you can probably we can probably see why Ultra Combo did not want to go with Old Sagat in this matchup. Mm -hmm, but, oh, nice answer. Oh, but here we go. He just turned it around. He has a life lead now. You know, to 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 go with what you were saying though earlier about counter picks. Some oh wow, that throw take it takes it. But I was gonna say to go with what you were saying earlier about counter picks. Sometimes picking another character and switching to your main kind of throws off the rhythm mm -hmm. of your opponent. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Oh. But, oh, drops it. <laughs> Oh, but that goes over low. Yep. That has low invincibility. No upkicks from Afro right there. All right, but you know, Ultra Combo's here. He can establish his fireball game. Now stuck in the corner. Nice. Yep, here we go. This is a bad position now. Tried to light uh, Dread over, Kicks over. over oh, I'm the, sorry, uh, uh, upkicks. The Jackknife Maximum. Yep. <laughs> upkicks. Upkicks. These names change over the years. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to call it Dread Kicks. It's yeah. never going to be the Carnival Hook Kick to me. Ooh. That jump roundhouse yeah. again, which you're talking about. Maybe he doesn't like that, you know, Sagat's right. arms are extended farther, so he has more range to hit that. Mm, beautiful bait. And I was expecting DP on that jump, but yeah. he hits him with the anti sweep. Again. Oh, nice. He's in there, but you know what? Not in the corner, so he can't go for any cross-up. I mean, he is in the corner. Oh. Wow, catches him low. Ultra yes. Combo gets one on the board. And again, only one person in the crowd clapping. What? What is it? He's like against the crowd here. We got Atari from Canada, and he's like, whatever the Americans are rooting for, I'm doing the opposite. That's what That's what he said right now. So. I mean, uh, you know, to, <laughs> to his fault here, man, you know, these are both Americans, so <laughs> we win either way. <laughs> And I believe that was one jump into some chip, and look at the damage DJ has taken already. Yeah, I know. Good blocks on that cross-up, because, yeah, if you don't block that cross-up, you are dead. D-E-A-D, -E dead. Oh, look, faked it. Okay, yeah, too far into the corner. He's not going to be able to cross him up over there. And I do like Afro not going for throws right here, because he is aware that uh, that DP is just going to hurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, okay. Didn't have, was, was worried he wasn't charged up in time. Oh, oh the jump. Oh. And at the last second, Ultra Combo went to muscle memory to sweep him instead of uppercut. And so, yeah, that ended up killing him. And now Afro Legends at match point. This is for third place here. Whoever loses this gets third oh, place. This is that, but nice jab DP to not get punished. Mm -hmm. oh, again, jumping over that. Every time he lands that jump roundhouse, I just like cringe in my head, think, oh man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those up kicks, that light up kick, you see how it avoids the tiger shot so well. And the crouch strong, too. I don't know if the, the viewers at home noticed the hitbox on how far that is. <laughs> that move is ridiculous. I mean, you wanna if you want to talk about the definition of priority, that's the move. Oh, that was supposed to be an uppercut, but it worked anyway. Oh, chip. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was that a wake up up kicks? Not sure, but Ultra Combo stays alive. Here we go. He's got to take this one to tie it up two to two. Oh, nice, nice jump, jump yeah, but knew that he couldn't get anything else off of that. 
like you said earlier, you gotta hit jump ins deep in this game. You gotta get these combos in right. The hit stun off of jump attacks are all light hit stun lanes. It's really odd, but that's how it works. And you know, he's at a life disadvantage, but he's not out of this. He is also got, oh no. He made the comeback last time. He was able to do it. There's one sweep, and now he has him back across the screen again. Oh no, oh. he missed the tiger shot. Look at this Afro Legend says, oh, Jump what a jump! House. I, I'm not, I don't think any of us was expecting that no, jump at that no. range, but beautiful timing on that. Afro Legends takes it. Round of applause, though, for Ultra Combo yeah. coming all the way from Northern California, yeah. getting third place here at SoCal Regionals. And this, was, uh, this wasn't a big tournament, but because it wasn't a big turnout, you more often to face killers <laughs> faster, dude. Like, I mean, look at this audience here, yeah. dude. It's like, I don't want to fight any of these people. Except for Muffin Man. I'll fight him. So. Man. <laughs> you know, he's been MIA just as long as Afro Legend. <laughs> I, love, right. I love Daryl. I love Daryl, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I only, I, you hurt the ones that you love, right? <laughs> exactly. So there you go. There you go. Which is why you guys play Cammy. You and Silent Scope. You guys love Cammy, but you love seeing her get hurt. <sighs> I know, right? All we're doing is making her suffer. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. And right now, we're going to have grand finals between Tomo from Japan and Afro Legends. So, Afro Legends went Balrog in Winners Finals. What do you think he's going to do in Grand Finals? Do you think he'll go DJ? Uh, I'm going to think he's going to try it maybe on the first set or something like that. Yeah, he, he oh, definitely okay. is, yeah. But no, well, it's a button test right now. Yeah, they're going to have to reset this because Tomo doesn't play Ken. Yeah. All right, thumbs up. Let's reset the board. All right, so this T. O. Is gonna, Eugene is taking care of that right mm -hmm. now. It's going to be a three out of five set. Uh, Tomo just has to win three games. Afro has to win two three out of five sets. Yes. To win. One to reset, one to win the tournament. That's right. Basically, all, you have to make sure everyone gets eliminated in the loser's bracket. So Tomo has never been set there. So that's why Afro Legends has to win two sets. He has to send him the loser's bracket and then take him out. So Here we he's go. He's sticking with Boxer. And I, you know, I don't think that was a bad choice. No. Nice headlights. I mean, like I said, I, I feel like Boxer has a better advantage over Ryu than DJ does. Definitely. So. With all his tools to get around Fireball. Yeah. And like you said earlier, with the, uh, the DP not invincible on the way up, <laughs> right. and Balrog can just headbutt him for free, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, to be honest with you, the main reason why Afro Legends lost last time is just Tomo outplayed him. Tomo outplayed him is a really strong player, again, all the way from Japan. I'm sure he's been happy to find this dedicated crew, crew of SD mm -hmm. players. I just call it crew, like, like Ryu. Ryu. Oh, man. That just made me think of the uh, food Creole. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nine seconds, Afro Legend to oh! Kansas City, and he gets him with that super. I mean, you know, that was a good choice from him, because even if it was blocked, it was going to eat up about four seconds and take him to the other side of the screen, so he would have had a lot of time to walk backwards. I mean, yeah, you know, that reminded me of that. Actually, reminded me of Kobe. Kobe used to do similar things, lulling his opponent to sleep, and <laughs> yep. I think Tomo just lulled, or got lulled to sleep by Apple yep. Legends. Five right there. Five, Look at that, yeah. man. At least you can understand him in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the fierce to the face. Yeah, got to watch out for that super now. Yeah, and see how sometimes when he headbutts, he charges, and a lot of times he doesn't. As long as he keeps that mixed up, it's so hard to figure out when he's actually going to do that. He's in range. See, jump for backwards. Chip, yeah. Jump backwards. Oh, that was so smart, but it didn't work. Here Are comes we Tomo. The Throw. No, he's going for tick throws, but uh, that headbutt through the firewalk. Afro takes game one. Yeah, and there of course is the problem with the new characters. I mean, Shoto's used to be able to tick throw Balrog to death because their throw range was mm -hmm. so far, but now since you got the throw text, it's yeah. just not gonna work anymore. Tanya telling everybody, let's make some noise for Super Turbo. We're all old. We can't get that yeah. loud anymore. <laughs> we hate the noise. It, it, it affects all of our yeah. hearing aids. East dude. Coast used to have geriatric warfare. Now they have too old, too furious, James. Yep. Fitting names. <laughs> Shout outs to the East Coast guys, by the way, yep. for always continuing that. Yep. Oh, oh we're going to throw yeah. underneath. Nope. Nice. Now with that super all locked and loaded, it's so dangerous. Oh, wow. just punched him in the thigh. Just punched him right on the thigh. And 
that is one of the problems is that Balrog's crouching kicks hurt the Shoto low forward so badly. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh my gosh. And look at all that meter he built just off yeah, of three. A blocked three. He needs to turn around punches and go through fireballs anymore. Is he going to cross him? No, he stays. Oh, yeah, he just stays in position. And sometimes, if you go for the mix-up every time, you throw him off by not going through it, you know what I mean? And the, you've got to keep the different look every single time. And you know Afro Legends is uh, from the school of Vi, because Vi has always <laughs> taught that. You know, for every for every two logical thing, two or three logical things you do, you got to do one illogical mm -hmm. thing. <gasps> oh, no, super right there. Oh, drops Whoa. it, giving Tomo a chance. Yeah, he uh, just had it all ready to go. Yeah. It's it's almost like a no-win situation there because, you know, you are going to jump because if you stay on the ground, you die. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the best thing to do might be, if you predict it, jump forward and air Tatsu. Yeah, Try it off. because give yourself the extra elevation because you don't want to be caught by that upper part mm -hmm. of the super, which you can in interchange, like, you know, games after this one. And you'll fly forward and just kind of escape mm -hmm. from it. Four, oh my god. <laughs> and it's so much chip too. Mm -hmm. This game does a lot of chip, man. That's yeah, interesting. Nice. With chip, there's like guts. Like you'll get chipped a lot until it gets down to like just a few pixels and then it's always a pixel per chip. It's interesting. Alright. Oh, oh my, my god. gosh. Super. No, he's just playing it safe. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I appreciate that because the thing is, it's so close to chip and Barra can chip you so easily normally. So it's might as well just keep the threat of the super the entire yeah, time. Yeah, great point, great point. Oh, nice tick throw. Oh, mm. close fierce. A close fierce. I haven't seen one of those in <laughs> so long. I know, right? Safe jump timing. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, close enough that he actually can punish that. Nice. Catches him on the two. Mm, there we go. That low strong, low roundhouse that we saw him do earlier in winner's finals. Yep, and Tomo's still alive right here. But remember, if Afro Legends wins this game, wins this round right now, it's yeah, just a bracket reset. Reset, exactly. And as you mentioned before, Afro Legends is so far uh, undefeated against Tomo in grand finals at Wednesday Night yes. Fights. Oh, that was beautiful. Nice. The, the, the hero throw. <laughs> Just walk up Ooh, and throw. the nice reversal. Ooh. He thought he was going to cross up Tatsu. Yeah. He did. That was great. And that's, you know, you established that there. Like you were saying earlier, you do the mix up and then you don't do it. Uh -huh. And he didn't do it right there. Exactly. So there you go. Tomo staying alive. Trying to take two more games and send this whole, and send Afro Legends home. Wow. All right. Oh, oh, execution yeah, error. That was supposed to be a fireball, and that's good. Look at how much damage he's taken mm -hmm. because of that execution error. All that right there, 75% of his life probably just from that one mistake. It all just snowballed from that point. And that setup, I don't know if this affects Tomo's play or not, but it is Samitsu stick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the right. final one. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Nice. Again, again, the, twice in a row. The honest version of the mix up. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice counter sweep from Tomo. Tomo now. Yeah, it's so dangerous. Balrog is so scary when he gets up close. No DP. Uh, Tomo throwing red fireballs to get that knockdown to establish some OP. Like when you get trapped in the corner by Balrog like that, it's so scary to touch yeah, a button definitely. as a it Shoto. It's so scary to throw a fireball, man. You don't mm. want to throw a fireball. But I like... Oh, nice sweep. Oh, he tried a safe jump, but the jump kick missed. Oh. Nice, beautiful approach from Tomo out of nowhere with the rocket punch and the throw. Mm -hmm. That's the a sneaky throw, the forward pierce in the throw. Oh, but see here again is that scary position. Mm -hmm. It's so scary to touch buttons. See, look at that. You think you were safe to throw a yeah. fireball, and then all of a sudden, low blah. Yeah, and then this is a bad position anyway because he is in super position, or not anymore. Right. Gave him more space. Nice oh, DP. Yep. You can in between. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I thought he was going to go for I it, James. I think he tried to go for it, but I think he just dropped it. Safe jump. Oh, nice. beautiful patience from Tomo. Oh, wow. Just waited him out, got blocked the headbutt, and was close enough to punish with the sweep. It's 2-2. Two, two. Tomo needs to win one to take it. Avro needs to win one to reset. Great ST play right now. This is definitely some high-level ST play. Regardless of the outcome, it is great to see Tomo from Japan here and Afro Legends basically coming out of retirement and playing some ST with all of us. Oh, oh. God, the busy. Oh, he drops, he drops the combo. It, yeah. And puts himself into the corner. Yeah, and you know, even though he's at a big life disadvantage, this is not out of it by any yeah. stretch. Some people, oh. Have, oh, yeah, oh, okay, Ooh, okay, 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 I got it, I got it. He was just going to do that low forward in the super. But some people have asked me, you know, like about comeback mechanics, and I say the comeback mechanic in ST is ST. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just the damage. Tomo on tournament points. Okay. Afro with great position, though. Nice. Four again. So much chip. It gets the jump in. Not the full combo, though. Kasatatsu. Stays in the front, but good block. He faked him. Oh, and he walked up and threw! Oh, and there it gosh. is! Homo takes SCR 2017. And for his first time that he is able to defeat Afro, Afro Legends, Legends yes. in a grand finals, oh, congratulations wow. to Tomo! But once again, shout outs to Afro Legends also coming out oh, and playing. Oh, yeah. You know, a 50 year hiatus. Oh. Wow. All right, great job, Tomo. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tomo. Congratulations. <laughs> there is Ibai presenting him his trophy. There you go. Tomo all the way from Japan taking SCR 2017. Yep. Now currently living here in SoCal mm -hmm. again. Awesome stuff. Isn't it great that thanks to video games you can travel clear across the world yeah. and have a bunch of friends yes. almost instantaneously just because mm -hmm. you have a sick ass Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the ST crew giving him handshakes, congratulating him. This is his first time he won a tournament that Afro Legends was in. Yeah, good so, job to him. Yeah. Good job. And you know what? You know, I hope that just inspired. Because you know, we're obviously not trying to make excuses or anything like Afro Legends. A little rusty, mm -hmm. right? So he might be at like 80% of what yeah. he is. But you know, hopefully he keeps coming back. Hopefully this is the kind of thing that inspires him yeah. to stick with it and get back into it, proper shape. And you know, shape. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been great seeing Afro Legends after years and yeah, years and years. All right, exactly, exactly. All right, so all right. they, they want us to take a picture. Uh, we are done with ST. Glad, hope you guys enjoyed it. James Chen, Blockbuster John signing off. Muffin Man right there. <laughs> all trouble, all right. Oh, there we go. We're going to do top eight photo post commentators. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, guys, thanks for watching.